a full 12 trillion factories of oil. Okay, our reinforcements are here. I guess we'll push our way towards the Russian border now. What, I mean, what can we do with negative 600 political power? Regan parliamentarian speech. How is the civil war going? And again, still, I think, stalemate for a long time. Let's go back to Riga. I mean, you are almost dead. We've got, like, another week until you guys invade us. But I'm not worried about it, in all honesty. I, I don't think I have anything to be scared of. Like, Lithuania will only ever join the war if uh, Russia invades them, I think. And I honestly don't see that happening. At least not anytime soon. So I think, uh... Another army. Let's just say brown army here. Delete your plan on this border. Deploy up towards here. How are supplies looking? Uh, absolutely dreadful. Like, they're some of the worst supplies you've ever seen. Okay, so you've declared war on us. I think that's a little bit mean. Where are some Marines? Russia joined through the International. Don't think we should be so surprised by that. The Kaiserreich's been besieged. Organization, defense, division level plus 20. I mean, we'll deploy another army then. Thank you. Oh, shit. Red Army. I didn't mean to uh, do that to you. This 16 stack needs to be in a different group. I've also assigned most of... Ah, dear. Oh, no. How did I screw this up? You all stay here. Yes, there we go. That's perfect. Sign you under a different general. That's not going to take a, a million years to show up. Sign you under this guy. You'll be on the border with... Uh... Here, I guess? Send you up towards the north as well. More people are joining the war. You've joined the Third International. Okay, that makes my life a little bit harder. Denmark wants to join the Reichspact. Absolutely not. Are you kidding me? How is this port so bad? Did I blow it up? No, we didn't blow it up. But let's get up to uh, rank 10, please. As fast as possible, because these guys actually have no supplies at all. <laughs> Will you actually even send troops over here? I mean, air superiority, they have 1,500 fighters. I will admit that's actually quite a bit. Do you have any more fighters we can send here? And we've got a couple more in storage. 600 against you. They have 22,000 strength. Nowhere near enough to actually uh, threaten us. We might see the Russians show up near Latvia soon. Which does scare me. You know, it's times like this I wish that uh, Lithuania was in our faction. Where's your capital? I guess you only really have one more city left, right? We do kind of need to take Lithuania back. Then we can send more troops up towards the north. Can you declare war on, uh... You're gonna declare war on the Dutch. Which actually is kind of bad, because they might actually naval invade around the, uh, the Hague. Oh no, France has declared war on these guys anyways. Uh, so you know what? Let's deploy... I was gonna say, deploy these guys. Apparently they're not deployable yet. No, they're not. Ah. Uh, okay. Morocco, are you in the war? Yeah, you're in the war. Four million manpower. I guess... This army... 
Get rid of this deployment. We'll just defend around Belgium. Belgium, we're sacrificing you to the French. I hope you have no hard, feel hard uh, feelings about this. The Dutch... See, the Dutch have joined the Reichs Pact. I didn't even get a choice in that. Fine. Fine. I'm disappointed. But if this is what the game wants, this, uh, I, I, I'll, I'll accept it. Let's go for 1941. Uh, industry tax. Our supplies are still horrible. Actually, you can probably switch it if you, if you do this. Does that fix it? Yes. For a little bit. And then it's going to turn red again. But Riga is a level 3 fort. Oh, yeah. We're at war with, we're at war with you. We'll join your war against, uh, against Riga here. Or against Estonia. Canada intervenes in the American Civil War. Are the Russians here? Yeah, the Russian the Russians are here now. Problem is we really don't have supplies for this right now. We're at 87. Russia's annexed the Don Cuban Union. Not a major surprise. I guess they, they're actually invading the American Union state as well. The anti-social run, exactly. Why would you not let me join your war? Don't really know. We're improving the obviously we're improving the port, right? Yes, very slowly. How many men have we lost so far? 31 against 34. Okay, that's not I mean not great. The AI does not want to attack into us, which is understandable. Um go for I guess experimental research. Italy showing the international. Build more ports like in every single province here. Yeah, I like that. Just 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 so many ports, your head will spin. Don't care about the Middle East at all. I mean, the Ottoman Empire actually is gonna lose, even though fighting Iran. Which is actually really embarrassing for them. We might as well accept all these things. Oh, we've won the vision here. Uh, send you to Orange Army, I guess. Actually, no, 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 no. We'll just have you defend Casablanca. Seems reasonable enough. Okay. 26 out of 13. Because we've upgraded this port at least a little bit. Oh, now we're at war with Estonia. Okay, Sicilian, absolutely not. Are you kidding me? Join the Austrian faction if you want help. Or the Entente. But absolutely do not ask me. Are you kidding me? I will have nobody in this Reich's Pact. Food is on the table. Oh, you're right. How did I not even notice you came in and dropped food here? Okay, move up. Okay. So move our troops upwards. We can at least kill Estonia. The Sony is not in the international. Driver troops in this direction. Belgium, like I appreciate your your attempt here. I find it a little bit strange, to be sure. I mean, Finland's declared war on the Russians. So even if they're not in our faction, or at least helping out somewhat. 
Okay, hold position. Like, I don't think Lithuania can go to war. Okay, they've annexed Azerbaijan as well. George has been annexed. Okay, so Russia's gonna send all their troops here. But again, there's a front line with the Entente, and the Entente will probably join the war. Okay, now Mexico is also in the American Civil War. So I don't think any of them are going to be joining the war of the Second Vil Creek anytime soon. Would at least be my guess. Okay, you're now broken. Move your way up to Ravel. Neil invasion of the northern France in the lowlands. Yeah, they're going to try to push here. I mean, there's nothing I can really do about that. They do have a lot of strength over there. I mean, I guess we can do this. At least for right now. Okay, our troops are just hanging out. We have 16,000 rifles in storage. Supplies are still not good, but our extra... Things should be done soon. Apparently some weapons to Germany's Asia. I don't even know when I did that. But apparently I have. How's your priority looking, by the way? Good in all the areas where it actually matters. I think this is just going to be a stalemate for a long, long time. That's what we at least it's looking to me. Still a negative foreign political power. You know, push across here now. I can't even tell where this is actually defending. Actually, might be a little bit broken. You three go here. You make all your way over to the Dorp map. Shanks here requests armaments. Absolutely not. Why would I give them any guns? Are you kidding me? I mean, you're doing... I was going to say okay, but that's not really the case. Let's get ready to send Purple Army up towards Estonia. I mean, Estonia's going to capitulate soon, right? Okay, we got some Estonian troops here. We can actually probably kill Latvia as well while we're in the area. Over to Narva. Okay, move these troops down. The Russians are trying to push their way through, but I don't think they will succeed. There's already there's already a Latvian troop in that province. How did you know I was coming? I'm gonna call that you were cheating. You're worth one victory point. You're worth four, so it makes more sense for us to go here first. The Dutch have landed in Russia. I don't know why they would do that, but okay. Apparently, you feel somewhat confident with an attack. I mean, there's only level two forts. We're on level ten forts. They have 1,600 aircraft, but I think our planes might be better. And you know what? Actually building anti-air guns here as well. Might be worth it. How are supplies looking here? They're looking now absolutely A-OK. -okay. So we can kind of, I think, delete these plans. We'll keep one of them going, but that's about it. Yeah, move up towards the northern front. We'll keep this army down near Lithuania just in case. Get 
Okay, I think that's the day. Yeah, Estonia is dead. One country down. Take all states, of course. Pause the game. Draw our offensive line like this. Draw your offensive line like that. Yeah, make your way here. Orange or purple army is on their way now. Again, I think that's the last Regan city. Regan, is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Not Regan, Latvian. I'm sure, just join the war. I don't know who you're at war with. I guess Indochina. Let's go for an extra research slot. The fate of Estonia. Give them to the Baltic Duchy, which apparently is just Riga. I mean, Russia, they're going to send their entire army here. But, again, when the Entente and the, um, the International of that war, this is going to be the front line they're going to use. Okay, Purple Army's got troops in here now. Petrograd's fallen to the Dutch. Not really who I was expecting to, uh... Get that maneuver to work out, but you know what? I'll take it. Yeah, you guys push in. Stop the Russian Navy, because I mean, they don't have any ports over here anymore. They're gonna have to go back to France if they want to get anything actually done. Again, I think we take out you. Join, I don't know who you're joining the war against, but just join it. Let's fight you to make sure you don't reinforce the city. I think the city will mean that Laffy is going to capitulate. Thank you. So there we go. Riga, we're already doing good work here. And again, the, the stalemate in Germany is fine. We do need more oil, though. Uh, that goes kind of without saying. Because our imports from Romania are not actually coming. Well, some of it's coming, but not a lot of it. I guess we'll just trade a ton of factories with the uh, American Union state and see if we can get some weapons here. So your plan is basically push your way down south. And I honestly think that you can probably actually get that done. Same with you guys. Let's make our way back to Riga, capture this location. Supplies are 45 out of 46, but I think once we take Riga, it'll look a little bit better for us. Or at least that's my expectation here. Okay, Riga's been restored. The Entente is now at war with, uh... They're now at war with the uh, International as well. This army also needs preparing its way. Push your way down in the Minsk. Same with you guys. You're also going to push your way down in the Minsk as well. Uh, absolutely, we do not need the uh, Anton's help. It would be a betrayal on our honor to rely on the uh, on them. But we now actually have units in an area that makes sense. But here's the thing, Russia is now going to have a front line against Iran and India. Which is going to be very, very bad for them. Because they need to send troops down here. I mean, I guess they don't technically need to, but the AI is going to. Okay, two sisters join the Entente. Makes sense that they do it now. I mean, you're going to have fleet basing rights. We're still negative 357 political power. You know what, actually, you go here. I mean, I would like to... I was like, it's like somehow we get like an encirclement, but I don't know how likely that actually is at the moment. I think you just go for careful... Uh, and careful battle plans right now. No reason... I mean, we have manpower. We don't have a lot of tanks and our fighters are actually starting to take a little bit of a beating as well. I 
Now fly all the way up here. Fighters are still in an okay spot. Um, we might have more, more uh, close air support, so let's throw you up to 300. Again, at least for right now. I mean, no superiority, we have basically 100%, well not 100%, we have superiority in everywhere on the border. So naval invasions are really not a threat. Yeah, now you're at war with Russia. It's just gonna be like, lead to a really weird situation. You have 16 divisions there, huh? I mean, that's, that's quite a few, I will admit. Yeah, so you can push in here. I think the rest of you need to hold on for a moment. Well, not you. You can definitely, I think, push into this province. But everywhere else, we might need to uh, wait a moment on. Also, wait, these are the same... Yeah, you're all on this line. Okay, this province will fall. We push our way through here. So we're going to keep on making those gains. How much does Belarus have? 5 to 16 is not a ton. More people in China are going to war with each other. Two sisters has capitulated, so this might actually see the Austrians join the war. This is usually about the time. When when uh, Italy falls, I think the Austrians might get the decision to uh, join up. I mean, Belarus has a lot of men around here. Yeah, try pushing the heater. How's Finland doing? They're actually doing alright. We'll agree to whatever the hell these guys are asking for. How are supplies? 4758 are completely okay. And again, naval invasions, not a risk. I'm assuming anywhere in... Are you considered mountains? You're actually considered urban. So Zurich is actually kind of a weak point here. They have 22 divisions. If we can, like, somehow... Can you all attack this province? Not all of you, though. Like, if I can surround the all these men... I feel like that would be nice for us. Science so get a war in Burma. I don't think we care about that. Do we have any tanks here? We do have tanks. But I think we just do something like this. If we can, if we can surround, you know, 23 divisions, wipe them off the face of the earth, we're going to be looking pretty good. At least the way that, that's how I see it. At 64% right now. Are you in the Baltics? Yes, you're considered over Baltic airspace. Where lines there should be completely okay. Actually, where's the 10 stack? Come up here as fast as possible. And you're basically just going to spearhead your way to this province. And try to get that encirclement. Even so, I'm just like a handful of men. So I think that'd be pretty nice for us. And I would like to probably put like another army up here. But we can we can only deploy really more men once we have war economy. And when are we ever going to get war economy? I have no idea. You're at 78. You're about to die. Let's have you keep pressure here, even though I know you're not really going to get too much done. We're at 76. Why are you only at 76? 
It's probably negative 27. You're pretty high experience. This is a force province. But of course, it's not the best. Do any of our leaders have any good upgrades? Probably, right? Organization. Uh, let's go organization first. Unwilling defender. I mean, that's not bad. You know what? Yeah, let's do unwilling defender on you. Any of the really good upgrades I would like to have. Okay, we're at 91 against you. Oh, did I disconnect from chat? Oh no, when did that happen? Okay, apparently I've reconnected back to the chat room. So if you've, if you've been messaging in chat, I have not been reading it because apparently it's not been showing up on my screen. So I apologize for that if I've not been reading your messages. Please note that it wasn't my intention to ignore them. When, how long do you have? Two more days to act uh, when you're active? Okay. Got 73. Reinforce this. Unless Switch is having a problem, which is not impossible for sure. How long does it take for you to walk one province? That's my question. Okay, you're at 96. The Royal Wedding. Don't care about this so much. 94. Let's go for one radar station in Brandenburg. Sure, why not? Do we build our aircraft can our aircraft guns? Yeah, they're being built in the Rhineland, so our yeah, air support should be completely okay. Even if we're losing actually a lot of fighters against everyone that the AI is sending in. Yeah, 90 percent right now it's really it's one division it's one division the stream had they, the stream didn't go down right like I'm still alive Make some maneuvers here. How are casualties looking? 1.1 1 .1 to 700,000. We've lost. How have we lost a million men so far? Oh, because Germany's Asia. Yeah, they're, they're bad. Right, 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 right. Nothing too surprising there. Purple Army. It's time for you to deploy here and push in like this. Albania is joining the Austrian faction. I don't think that's going to make a huge difference, to be honest. Yeah, please go up there as fast as possible. I will admit our big... No, there's still 16 divisions here. I mean, this, I want to get this encirclement. So we get that encirclement, we're going to be looking really, really good. Well, Non-aggression pact. Please basing right. Everybody can have all those. Way too ahead of time on that. Let's go. Any 19... Yeah, 1941 upgrades. How is uh, Iran doing? Horribly. But I don't think that's a major surprise to people. Or at least it shouldn't be. Delete this line here. We're still only... We're at 269 in the, in the, in the red. Okay, we're going to push towards Petrograd again. Pushing like this. What is your war support at? Your war support at 100%, because of course it is. Ireland's actually almost dead. Because the Dutch have actually landed in every single major city. Okay, lovely. I mean, if you can get the kill, I won't say no. Okay. 
Yeah, you're trying to push your way through. I don't think it's gonna work. Oh, the, the bots are back! We love the bots. And if you can actually take Petrograd, it'll give um, Finland more maneuverability, I would say. Albania, sure, I'll take one volunteer division. Does it kind of go against the spirit of the, the campaign? Eh, maybe a little bit. Iceland is joining the Internationale. Well, now we have no chance of success. I'm going to tell you that right now. How are you almost dead? I mean, I know you're fighting multiple combats. God, they've put so many men in this one province. That's actually a bit absurd. Yeah, push into Petrograd. One of you will go like this, capture the airbase. We have no support here. They're running into some problems. Pushing like this. Purple army still, uh... Okay, okay, we, we made one progress. Last stand, I want to make sure we, we keep here. Are you... No, because you're uh, Belarus. Let's have you guys fall back. Please stop attacking me. It would make my life a lot better if you were to stop attacking me. Okay, but purple army's on their way now. They got some tanks. They got some decent stuff in their armies. Let's see, are you worth anybody else? Not really. Yeah, fight against this guy. You come here. You're also going to force attack your way in? How do I ban you? Yes, ban that account. Thank you. Okay. Hawaii wants an aggression pact. Then give Hawaii their non-aggression pact. How is this line doing? Again, fine. Like, there's been no action. Has France even lost a single unit yet? 36,000, mostly against, uh, everyone else. Yeah, I think they're trying to fall back. Which is not a huge surprise. Eighty-six. I mean, some people are trying to go back in here. I don't know why they like that one province so much. 